Hi, it's Mark with Ableton Daily. Hi, it's Mark with Ableton Daily. Right now, you're listening to a modulated voice. What you were just listening to was my voice being modulated. About a couple days ago, I posted a video tutorial that showed you how to create a stuttering vocal effect using the sampler instrument inside live. You can check out the video on my YouTube channel. But later that evening, I received a comment or question from an Ableton Daily subscriber asking if you could apply the same modulation to an entire music project inside live, meaning that you would modulate an entire song or control where the modulation is throughout the song. So I thought, no, oh, that sounds pretty cool. I don't see why not. And really, it's uh, pretty simple to do. All you need is an audio plugin with a low frequency oscillator. And then you would drag that in on the master bus or master channel and turn it on and control the amount of the LFO and how it affects the music. And so I've decided to go ahead and use the auto filter, which comes with Ableton Live. And that's inside the audio effects folder. And you can just drag that in into the master channel here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and mute my microphone. And I'm going to turn on the auto filter and play back this. Uh, I, I whipped up some just a little jam session here so you could hear how the filter affects the whole sound of the, of the project. So I'll go ahead and mute my microphone right now and we'll go ahead and play this back. Okay, let's go over the auto filter and I'll explain to you how this works. Uh, I'm not able to really turn it on because if I do, uh, your, my voice will be affected by the sound. And because you, you can see that I do have my microphone channel here inside live. But the envelope's really cool for the auto filter section. And we can positively and negatively control the amount of the envelope, the envelope being the attack and the release and how those sharp peak transients in sound, how are they affected and how sensitive will they be to the auto filter? The release being the falling transients, the falling sounds and how this is affecting the filter. So you, to read up more on this, you can pull this little menu out here and you can hover your mouse over and it'll, it'll tell you what these mean just to remind you, but you're going to get more of a punching effect with a lot shorter attack. And you're really going to be able to apply the envelope enhancing the modulation with the LFO. So if I turn the envelope all the way down to 
the left causing a negative envelope amount, that will enhance the overall effect of the LFO. Let me go ahead and play this back and I'll show you what I mean. So you're going to have a different sound with that. I'll go ahead and zero that out for now. Let's move over to the LFO section. And we have an amount knob here. And this controls the amount of how much modulation will be applied to the sound. Okay. And the shape right here is, it gives, it allows us to to select what type of waveform we want for the modulation. Uh, the sine wave being more of a smooth in and out type sound, and then the square wave being more of an on and off type sound. I'll go ahead and show you what I mean. Okay, and you can see that I've tried some other waveforms here as well. Uh, the, we have a, uh, a forward and backward sawtooth. The ba I found that the backward sawtooth sounds pretty good. Uh, but And you also have a triangle wave and some random waveforms here. So we're going to select the shape that we want. The square wave making the most noticeable difference. And the rate is also important because this controls the speed of the modulation. Currently we're at 1 16th and the little note button here is selected. I'll go ahead and turn this on so you can see this. The little note button here is selected and when you have this turned on, then the rate will sync to the tempo of the project. And you can control the timing of the rate, but it'll still be in sync with the project. Let me go ahead and play this back. I'll show you. Now, if I don't have that turned on, let's just say we've decided to use where it says Hertz, and that way we can control the speed throughout the entire frequency spectrum, all the way from 10 Hertz down to uh, 0 0.01 Hertz. So uh, this gives us more of a free flow where the sound and the modulation will not be synced with the project. However, we can control the rate more freely and speed it up even faster and probably slow it down even more. I'll go ahead and show you. You have some other adjustments here. You can uh, adjust the auto filter and you can play with this where you can cut the frequency and have it pump in and out of frequencies, uh, almost like frequency modulation. Okay. But the main, you know, the main tutorial here is really originally just to show you how to modulate. Uh, an entire music project and that can be done with this filter so i hope you enjoyed it uh, looks like uh, whoops looks like i'm out of time we hit 15 minutes so i better go here uh, but play around with this guys i hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you on the next video take care